So how can we deal with edges or detect edges of an object in the image? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of edge detection and later in the video, we'll be showing you its implementation using OpenCV modules. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. You can even share it with your uh, friends and colleagues. Also, we now have the AI University app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's move on and first understand what is edge. So edge is nothing but the boundary of an image just like shown here. These are the boundaries and these can be treated as edges. Coming to edge detection, it is an image processing technique for finding the boundaries of object within image. It works by detecting uh, discontinuities in brightness and it helps us reduce the amount of data or pixel to process and maintain the structural aspect of the image. Edge detection is used for image segmentation and data extraction in areas such as image processing, computer vision and machine learning. There are three types of edge detection algorithms and these are Laplacian, Kenny and Sobel. The Laplacian edge detector uses only one kernel and is useful when you want to get all the orientations. Kenny edge detection is very efficient and optimal due to having low error rate and it provides accurate edge detection. Sobel edge detection uh, uses two 3x3 kernels which are convolved with the original image to emphasize horizontal or vertical edge. I'm going to explain Kenny edge detection in detail here. So Kenny edge detection uh, first applies Gaussian uh, blurring. Uh, you can get the details of Gaussian blurring in this video, link of which is given in the i button above. Then as a second step, it tries to identify the gradient or intensity of the image. Thirdly, it removes the pixels that are not edges. This process is called as applied non-maximum suppression. Fourthly, it applies a process called as hysteresis that is if the pixel is within the upper and lower threshold then it would be considered as an edge. So let's head over to the Jupyter notebook to see its implementation. So as you can see here we are first importing our familiar cv2 and numpy modules. In the next line we are reading our image using imread function giving path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as image data underscore original to show you the original image. In the next line, we are trying to extract the Sobel edges that is Sobel underscore EDG underscore X and Sobel underscore EDG underscore Y. Here we are extracting vertical and horizontal edges. We are using OpenCV's Sobel function inside which we are passing arguments like input image, output image, depth with SRC depth as CV underscore 64 F. Next parameter is X order which is order of the derivation x. Next parameter is y order which is order of the derivative y. And then we have k size which is the size of the extended Sobel kernel. It must be 1, 3, 5 or 7. Then I am using various am show functions to show you the original image. Sobel underscore edg underscore x edge and Sobel underscore edg underscore y edge followed by bitwise or function to combine these edges. This function takes bitwise OR of Sobel EDG X and Sobel EDG Y, thereby showing them together. In the next line, uh, we are doing Laplacian edge detection, which takes input image and output image depth with SRC depth as CV underscore 64F as parameter. Finally, we are doing Kenny edge detection, which takes parameters like input image, threshold or gradient values like 30 and 180. 
if there is a gradient value larger than 180 then it will be considered as an edge any value below 30 is considered not an edge and if there is a value in between 30 and 180 then it can be classified as an edge or not edge based on the connection of their intensities you can play around with these uh, threshold or gradient values to see various outputs of Kenny. So now let me run this cell. So when I ran the cell, I got the output shown on the screen. First, I have this original image. Then I have horizontal edges in Sobel. These are the vertical edges in Sobel. This is the combination of both horizontal and vertical Sobel edges where we applied bitwise or operation. This one is the output shown as Laplacian edge detection. You may need to tune the threshold in this function to get clear view of edges. And the last one is this Kenny edge detection. You can see that the edges are quite clear in case of Kenny. There is no noise in it and edges are preserved quite well here. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. Are you liking the OpenCV series covered so far? And is it helping you to widen your knowledge horizon of computer vision? Please post your answer comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.